Yeah. Okay. It's Monica from ULM. I'm sitting here, standing here with Digital Summer. Going Please on. introduce How's yourselves going? and what part y'all play in the band. Uh, me and I play guitar. John, guitar. Guido, I play bass. Very excited to see you guys here tonight. You guys have a new album. Congrats on single Thank Forget You, you. featuring Clint Lowry of Seven Death. It's nice to kick off a new album off the chart. How's that feel? Uh, good. I mean, uh, Breaking Point, we uh, released it in August. It's the first record we released after leaving our management company. We were in the group for a while uh, after we parted ways with them. It kind of feels good to put out a record and have some success with it. Have no one to else to go to about it. It was all our doing, yeah. you know. So, releasing a record on her own and having it do so well, it's pretty fun. I bet. Um, the song Forget You, um, is it about a personal experience? You don't have to answer it if you don't want to, but... Uh, well, Kyle does, uh, does all the lyrics for me, so he's the, the lyrical mastermind. But, uh, I don't know, I think everybody can relate to that type of song. Everybody's been in a shitty relationship at one point or another, so uh, for him, I'm sure it's, it holds something to him, but at the same time, uh, I guess we like to write songs that have mass appeal as well that people can relate to. Uh, we got a good response from our fans. Yeah. You know, we get the Twitter messages and the Facebook messages We're like, "This one goes to my ex-boyfriend. He's a dick." <laughs> 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 so it's cool to see uh, fans relate to it. And it's sad at the same time. But like the other day, we're, we left the show and someone tweeted us that they just found out their wife was cheating on him. Yeah. So it was like perfect timing. It's like I fucking love that song now. <laughs> So what's your favorite song um, to play live off the new album and why? Um, my personal one, uh, we haven't played it on this tour, but you know we'll start playing it more in the future. Breaking Point, for me, the solos, it's a lot of fun. And the things that we did at um, a big festival we played in Phoenix, we did a lot of cool choreographed stuff with the song, too. So uh, visually, it looks cool as well. That's probably my favorite song to play as well. It's a, it's a heavier song, so there's a lot of uh, energy, a lot of movement. Wise on yeah. Yours as well? Yeah. I'll, I, so we haven't played yet, but we're against myself when we get down. Got to play tonight? Down. Yeah. No, not, no. not oh. tonight. Yeah. Well, we'll play some new ones. Killing me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're real excited to see y'all. Where do y'all go after Texas? Uh, tomorrow yeah. we have a day off. Yeah, day off. Day off in John's hometown, so yeah. kind of nervous. Shreveport, Louisiana. Ah. <laughs> kind of crazy Louisiana. Kind of nervous. <laughs> yeah. Louisiana is always a party. Got the party girl beach, you know. <laughs> living the dream. What did y'all do yesterday for Fat Tuesday? Um, partied in Abilene. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing got. too special. I mean, it was fun. Fun chill. First time playing Abilene, so it was a good time. Yeah. That was Lucky good Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good venue. Cool venue. Yeah, really cool. Do y'all have any pre-show rituals that you do before you go on stage? Uh, we do a lot of vocal warm-ups and stuff in the, every, you know, like about 45 minutes before every show. We all get together. We go to the bus. Kind of quiet time for a little bit. Kind of tell the, fr the friends that come up to see us with the fans, you know, see them afterwards, but uh, just kind of zone out and do some vocal warm-ups, some stretches, you know, finger exercises on the guitar, uh, and listen to, like, uh, Warren G. Regulator. Yeah, it's <laughs> always a good motivator. <laughs> it's usually the one that gets us going. What uh, band influence y'all have? Go ahead, John. <laughs> well, <No. laughs> I'm a huge Mark Tremonti fan. Huge fan of his guitar work. I love uh, Mark. Awesome. Uh, Zach Wilde's another big influence of mine. <coughs> um, obviously, Seven Dust. Yeah, yeah, Seven Dust. It's crazy. I mean, I, I feel blessed because Seven Dust is a huge fan. I grew up listening to Nonpoint for being in like eighth grade when What a Day came out. Yeah. Been a fan of them ever since. And so touring with them is pretty awesome. Yeah. So, do y'all have any crazy things to share? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Your brother-in-law tried to stab me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, CJ. <laughs> no, it was a good time. We uh, when we toured with Seven Dust and Johnny Cool, probably one of the, the better tours we've done. Is the Seven Dust guys and Johnny Cool guys are awesome. Yeah. Uh, they made us feel very welcome, and uh, we had a good time with them. By the by, the end of it all, we still talk to CJ quite a bit. And obviously, we're close to the Seven Dust guys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'd say that tour, just in general, is crazy. Yeah, it was just because it was our first. Seven Dust Drowning Pool Tour was our first big national tour, uh, so they broke us in pretty good. Cool, cool. Um, they wanted me to ask if there's been any stage mishaps or wardrobe malfunction oh, sure. memories that y'all would like to share. Oh, uh, I got one. 
actually involves CJ. Oh, <laughs> good um, lord. Well, no, he was, just, he was a bystander. <laughs> yeah, he was a bystander. He was innocent. <laughs> okay. We played a festival in Chesney, Michigan back in July, and oh. Ian does guitar spins, and his strap broke. I haven't so broken I a strap ever. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, like, the one festival show that I decided, like, I wasn't even, I don't know, strap broke, and... It comes flying on our side of the stage, and this was the first time, you know, I'm new to the band, been in a little over a year, first time CJ has seen me play, so he's standing right behind me, and I see a guitar, and I do this really uncoordinated, unathletic jump, <laughs> and I try to get out of the way, and I turn and see if CJ saw it, and he's just laughing, like, damn it, damn it. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good story. Well, that's great. Um, guys, uh, in closing, we just want to know where the fans can find your music, where they can find you. Uh, Let us know. You can find us on any social media website, basically. Twitter whores or Facebook whores. Yeah. Uh, Facebook.com slash Digital Summer. Uh, yeah, Digital Summer Band. Uh, Digitalsummermusic.com slash Digital Summer. You have your music out for everybody yeah, to buy. Yeah, uh, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play. Anything y'all want to say before we leave? Uh, come check out a live show. We uh, promise you won't be there. And Wait. I'll let you know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys Thanks very much. Us. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.